We did see those guys. Oh, yeah, you're right. Witnesses, kindly state your names and occupations for the course. Yes, sir. The great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant Iyasa Nosa. Iyas... Iyasa Nosa. Iyasa Nosa, reporting for duty, sir. Shall I find employees apparently of fine articles of antiquity from the efflorescence of our nation, Nippon, and conduct my trade from Rasute, a humble premises in the second district, Kyurio Korikuda, at your service. Antique dealer and a soldier, what an unusual pairing. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant the day in question. Must be the diners at the other table the waiter mentioned. Myself, I habitually take tea in the most of the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question, always post noon, <laughs> and did not infrequently converse with interested parties regarding the curios which I make my business. I love the animations that they have for these characters. I, yeah, I, I. On one hand, it's like. I understand, like, the 2D, the old 2D art looked really nice, mm -hmm. but this gives them a lot more immediate personality with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see the animations for people freaking out, though. Because mm -hmm. those are always a highlight of the Phoenix Wright series. And, boy, I can only imagine it's going to get kind of... I really hope for the tuberculosis guy oh. they don't have blood pouring everywhere. That'd be terrible. Terrible. Uh, I, yes, sir, no, sir. That's, that's the pun. Oh, the For pun. the military man. I uh. knew there was a pun in there, but it wasn't quite clicking. They will not be disappointed. I figured. I can't understand a word that old man is saying. He's an antique dealer, and it sounds like he's a regular at Lacan of all. He seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. It obviously targets Lacan of all because it's a high-class restaurant with rich clientele. Right. I see. Although, to be honest... That surgeon, sergeant, sergeant, sergeant mm -hmm. looks more like he'd be a seller rather than a buyer. Now, you both witnessed the precise moment of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative. The enemy unit was seen attacking the foreigner in what can only be described as an act of war, sir. Oh. It was that black uniformed rogue infantryman over there who unloaded his firearms, sir. This man's as impossible to understand as the other. I wonder if this is why you have all the soldiers watching. As aside from the fact that it was supposed to be a secret case. But maybe they want to see their commander. Yeah. Maybe. I I'm assuming it's just because it's a, you know, a, Only... a big deal court case with mm -hmm. treaties and whatnot. But I'm almost sure I... I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during that last thing he said. Oh, yeah, that... Hey. So, this is the decisive evidence that prosecution was threatening. Wait a minute, what was the strange noise? Was it when he raised his arm? Oh, maybe. The soldier is claiming that he actually saw the precise moment you when you shot the victim dead. Yeah. Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? If I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. Now, the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. Part of the reason why the 3D does work really well for this, very hand-painted textures. Mm -hmm. it, like, if you just take a screenshot, it actually really does look like a one 2D thing, piece for the most part. One thing that I'll want to point out, though, for these witnesses, yeah? is yes, I understand that these two witnesses were close to one another and possibly even at the same table, but if I were in court um, i mean obviously they could have corroborated on something and come up with a story but i would almost rather have it that each witness give their testimony separately just in case there are inconsistencies between what they're saying i mean maybe that's the point though that we're going to be playing them off of each other mm -hmm. sir yes sir standing <gasps> wait did i finish what he was saying or we'll hear your formal testimony please okay oh you will state Everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. Sir, Wait. yes, sir. Standing by, ready to report, sir. Did you hear that squeak again? Yeah. Kind of? There was a squeak when he, you yeah. know, moved It to might salute. just be the... Uh, we'll see. Does we'll he have a squeaky reveal. boot? 
I'm kidding. Huh, unsavory memories of a most acerbic afternoon. Boy, I almost feel like we need to take here. Shell, you wanna? You wanna... A acerbic yeah. and. Here, I'm gonna hand you my notebook. What was the other? It was a P word. Precis. Wasn't... Precis. Yeah. Um. With a C. Oh, right. It's a dot journal. You'll just have to make do. So just label at the top that we're playing Ace Attorney Chronicles and just write a couple of these things down. <laughs> the old man is vibrating. Make it stop. No. It was Precis and Acerbic? Yeah. I don't know if the spelling is correct. Was there anything else? I swear there's like one or two others. Uh, uh, nah, I, I think it's fine. But we like finding new vocabulary words. Because we've been playing, what was it, Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, Final they Fantasy have a lot XIV of wonderful... likes to play around with some really weird words. Mm -hmm. uh, Very eloquent. There was one other. I think oh, the... efflorescence. Oh, but eff efflorescence, I would assume, is similar to effervescence. But No, I don't think so. I mean, oh, maybe. But do you know what it means? Efflorescence? Yeah, purveyor of fine articles of antiquity from... The efflorescence of our nation. Huh. Maybe the bloom of our nation. Yeah. Maybe like the, the height of it. of a flower. If you're taking floor. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember if there's anything else. But I, re I, I know they've used a couple of like great words already. Okay. Okay. Well, that's enough. What the witnesses saw. What the witnesses saw. I was ingesting a regulation beefsteak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. The black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian from the back. And from the back, the cowardly little weasel. But but he was shot in the chest. Yeah, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. I was on my hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curio. Well, so you, Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed the vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. That wicked university cadet, sir. The cruel and unforgivable enemy. What? What times we live in when an English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of day. Now, hold on as I murder this man next to me with his dagger I found. <laughs> He's just playing with a bunch of... It just of... cuts off one of his eyebrows. How, how many... Flail just doesn't have it for the rest of How many items does he have in his kimono? You want to buy any? I've got lots. Wait. Just jangles himself. Bailiff, why did you take no care and... In... In you know, in patting down this man, how did he happen? Bailiff's to... just dead. <laughs> just how did he happen to outside. secret a, a the small The next dagger case uh, is us court. prosecuting the the old man. <laughs> but but this is ridiculous. I didn't shoot anyone. Is that really true, Ryanosuke? Yes. All I did was pick up the gun that I saw lying on the floor. After I said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Then, when I'd finished, I got up from my seat to leave, leave the restaurant, when I noticed an English-made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it. So I bent down, and just as I was picking it up, Well, if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. And somewhere in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue as to who the criminal was. There is? Ryanosuke, you must exercise your right to cross-examine cross -examine the witnesses. Cross-examine? Do it now. As we have heard, Your Excellency, there is no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. At this time, to bring this despicable student to justice. Oh, it is time to bring this despicable student to justice. 
Certainly, the testimony the court has just heard, uh, ha the court has just heard, eliminates any vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare the verdict of yes! this trial. Yes. Oh. He's raising his hand. What the name of the emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I am. Um. I mean, uh, the defense demands its right to cross-examination. Dear me, dear me, let me guess, the Hachimaki headband boy next next door told me to do it. How pathetic! Huh? How did he know? The prosecution objects. This is a clear waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross-examination? The defense is asserting its right to a cross-examination. Whether or not you think he's capable of it, it's irrelevant. Ah. Kazuma is so commanding. Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witnesses. Alright, this is where the battle really begins, Rinosuke. But I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. Isn't it obvious? You have to expose the lies of the wit in the witness statements. Hmm? How? You didn't fire the gun, which means that soldier said, uh, what that soldier said has to be a lie. Well, yes, but it's just a case of proving it. And the key to doing that is evidence. Right, evidence. Right, which means we're going to have to present the evidence stating that Wilson was shot in the chest, yeah, exactly. not the back. All you need to do is present some de decisive and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. Now, let's go, Ryunosuke. Don't let them beat you. All right, then. It's all or nothing. What, were they just showing there that his slap against the table was ineffective? Just a little peek. <laughs> I wanted him to slap the table and be like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> or like, uh, bang, bang his hand on it and then be like, shit. Because like, I know when I do that, when I hit something with my hand, it's like, ooh, that smarts. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, it's not this one. Mm hmm I mean, I guess I could press him on everything. Uh-huh. Also, thank you, Matthias 720, for the 100 bits. Thanks so much. So, precise moment, fire him discar discharged, observed it with my own eyes. Uh, uh, well, this one. You, yes, this is the one. This is the one. We might as well press him here. I don't want to press him on literally every de detail because that adds like... Even though it gets us more dialogue. It gets but... us more dialogue, but it gets us too much, maybe. I mean, unless it turns out that we need to. We'll see. I just can't get over his haircut. It feels like this man should be demanding photos of Spider-Man. <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, so this black uniform university cadet, you're saying that was... Oh, God damn it! Okay, so we don't even press him here. I've had enough of your sauce, cadet! Who else do you think around here... Uh, who else do you see around here in a black uniform, huh? Well, there's someone standing right next to me who fits the description as well, but... It was you, you little weasel! You unloaded the firearm on that man from behind his back, and you call yourself a citizen of the Great Empire of Nippon? You disgust me! Mm -hmm. huh? What is it, Ryunosuke? I, I'm not quite sure. It's something that the sergeant just said, but I can't put my finger on it. Something's playing on my mind. I, it does bug me a little bit that it's kind of like Ryunosuke hasn't figured it out because we haven't supplied the court, uh, the information. But it's like, dude should at least have dialogue that supports the fact that I did not shoot the man from behind. Well, he. he he hasn't shot Wilson at all. Yeah, but the it's thing like, is, he just saw evidence that yes, shot in the chest. I but. I just wish uh, some of the things the character would actually like react to being like, but he was shot from the front, and then it's just like, oh yeah, pick the right. I guess that would be too easy, but still. Mm -hmm. In that case, check back over the details of the evidence you've gathered in the court record. If you find an inconsistency there with what the witness just said, then don't hold back. Present the evidence to the court. Trust in the witness's face and make him choke on it. The Prime Presser achievement unlocked. I was irrelevant for this specific detail. Well, it's because he was scrambling for whatever rolled under the table. 
Okay. Anyway. Yes! <laughs> yes! Uh... Don't tell me it's the wrong one. No. It that totally you were is. supposed to show the autopsy report versus oh, the photograph. Maybe. No, I was. This is stupid. Ah! Uh, Come on! What? What are you playing at, cadet? No. No? Is it working? I think I was right. I, I think maybe both are valid in this case. Usually this doesn't do that, but we'll see. What is the meaning of this subordination? Thrusting some photographic print in my mustache. This is not a photograph of Spider-Man. I demanded Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Inconsistency, sir. I mean... Yes! There is a clear inconsistency here. What nonsense! What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well, obviously. That, um... I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Come on! Ha! I think this proves beyond a doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in this grand courtroom. Um. Ah! This is so frustrating. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. Kazuma, what? What are you talking about? It's apparent from a single glance at the photographic print presented by the defense that there's a clear discrepancy here. With the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant Ayesa Nosa. Yes, sir. What, sir? The statement you just made was this. The black, black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian. And from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. I witnessed the crime with my own military grade eyes, sir. Yes. But no, that can't be. And why not, cadet? Because, 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 oh. come on, take a close look at the print. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Ah! S Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that's the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? Uh, wait, oh, wait, wait, there's a baby? Oh, uh, well, uh, 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 Is it a baby or is it a second head? It's I don't, a baby. Oh. It's a baby with a mohawk. What the? <laughs> what was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it down again. Yep. Certainly okay. there is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Uh, uh, yes, sir. At this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. Until the moment I... Definitely baby. Yep, definitely baby. Until the moment I heard the firearm discharge, my eyes were... Firmly fixed on the delicious Lar Carnival steak, sir. What?! last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. Witness Sergeant Iesanosa did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Ah! That's... that's absurd! I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's the baby. Mm-hmm. There's been a complete turnabout in the mood in this trial, just from that one discrepancy. He's just stoic, standing there. Perfect. So, yeah. <laughs> Wind. <laughs> Fluttering through you the, just see the headband. Kazuma just furiously using eye drops at some point. My eyes are so dry. Why won't this wind stop blowing? <laughs> so this is what being an ace attorney is all about. But, but I definitely saw him. That university cadet there, he was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's yes. back. But I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. Huh. 
And you, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either? Uh, you're kind of giving yeah, I know. the I, judge and Too many the... voices. <laughs> I know there's no woman here. Yeah, we have I yet think... to find the lady. <laughs> see, it's fine with the old man, though. Um, here, I'll give it again. And you, old man, you didn't see the, the moment the victim was shot either? Myself, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor? Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. <laughs> <laughs> treasure. Indeed! The Hui Era Coven! My prized coin! On each occasion when I visit that restaurant, it is my habitude to place in my bosom pocket a particular trinket of interest from my shop, Rasute. In hope of meeting a rich diner who might like to buy it from you. On the day you under scrutiny, it was to the military man that I proffered my hoey treasure. It's really hard to try and commentate old man voice while vibrating <laughs> and get it in, but uh, I'm going to try. <laughs> I believe that he would purchase such a rare find. I did not, but I was presented with little alternative. And then... Wait, wait, wait. Why was he scrabbling on the floor? He dropped his coin. He dropped his gun, perhaps. Ah. Oh. We'll, have to, we'll have to see. Oh. Oh, wait. Try yeah, it could be his gun. I but he did say there was the coin. No, no, I know. But we haven't found a coin yet. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I it still, would be pretty funny I if that was like the gun he dropped. I, I, the thing is, the waiter is still awfully suspect. I just came to get my gun back. After averting my eyes for the briefest moments, it was there no more. It simply vanished. The Koban vanished. Hunting around under the table, I was in case may happen and fallen there and and then it happened you heard the gunshot me indeed i did but i heeded it not for i was concerned only with finding my absconded holy treasure watch the baby have it nothing could distract me <laughs> could be out of interest did you find the coin in the end mm. no Huh, I see. That lamentable day, the precious Hoi Koban was lost to me. No doubt some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. Mm. Uh. Or his baby did. <laughs> the military man is actually just a scammer and the baby is not even a baby. They're just a crime duo. <laughs> As I am sure to everyone present uh, that- wait, what? Oh. As I'm sure everyone present is aware, this case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels, it must be to the British. It would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. Uh, what is your position, Prosecutor Ouchie? <laughs> Way not, Your Excellency. The defendant may have fled a tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. Are you feeding me to animals? My witnesses have further testimony to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear that there is only one person who could have possibly committed the despicable crime. The equally despicable defendant, Ryunosuke Naruhoto. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Ah. Very well. The court invites the witnesses to testify again. You will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegation. Is that clear? As clear as Kiriko Glass, Your Excellency. As clear as my cataracts. Yes, sir, at once, sir. A waiting signal to testify, sir. Um, excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative, the newest member of the Nosa family to rise up through the ranks, sir. Name, Ido. Huh, 
It seems those straps are a sign of the sergeant being too strapped to afford a nanny. Oh, I see. So he is having a little backpack sling. Yeah. I know, tension. Your father is about to quell the enemy. Oh. Watch and learn, my boy. Witness testimony. The true culprit. Even if what I saw wasn't, wasn't the precise moment of the fu the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Nah. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man he was. That uh, glad and ba black that much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Uh, indeed, alone he was, said the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no uh, one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Uh, these testimonies are yes. certainly compelling. Wait, that's that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at his table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Well, then can't he testify? <laughs> it is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Yeah, after everyone probably cleared out. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime, counsel? Indeed. Of the table which the victim was taken, uh, was dining, taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As it can plainly be seen, there's only one place set. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Ah, this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. A photographic oh. print of the crime scene has been entered into the court record. I'm stuck on his voice for a moment. Wait a minute. In the other picture, wasn't the stake whole? Uh, oh. We'll have to see. Or, I suppose it could have. There are some bites taken out of it. Yeah, but part of it's still behind the uh, chair. One, two, three. And a half. No. There's more steak there. There's more steak. Somebody took some bites after the guy was killed. That or they took a picture of the wrong table? No, the glass and the wine are still next to each other. Yeah, but that... But the, but the daffodils in the middle are so much closer. Also, the, the, the fork. Let's look at the fork. I think the fork's in the same spot. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The body could be blocking it? No. Because if you notice... Uh, gosh. Okay. Wait. If I do magnifying glass... Uh, that's not going to be helpful. I'm going to just use my mouse. This might be just kind of me doing whatever, but see one, two, three, four, five. And this fifth one is whole. Yep, yep, yep. If we go back, and this might be splitting uh, hairs. Uh huh. One, two, three, four. Fifth one is gone. Yeah, yeah. So definitely more of the. Who knows if. Also, uh, the glass. It looks like it's partially full there. What about in the other photo? An empty glass. Empty glass. Uh huh. Uh huh. You think someone was eating that steak like a caveman? <laughs> this just young woman comes out of nowhere, just takes a full mouthful of steak and just absconds. It's possible it was the wrong table. They took a photograph. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. I don't understand. What's going on here? And people are also asking why he's facing away from the table. Yeah, that too. It, it's a different table. Either it's a different table or somebody snuck some bites or I don't know. It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. The waiter before he said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I, I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. 
Everyone's in on it. It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witness testimonies we've just heard leave no further room for doubt. These are very sensitive political times, as we know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Takatsuchi Auchi, have contributed to the army of these two great empires is an honor. How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. Stand tall, Ryanosuke. It's not over yet. What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it. To draw out the truth. In your cross-examination. I, I... I don't know, Kazuma. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witnesses, but make it quick, understood? Rules can be so unbending at times. Ah. Uh. Wait, how would you telegram? Could you telegram across oceans? It depends on what kind of lines they are. They might have something that goes to the mainland and then all the way across <laughs> Asia to Europe. I I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm sure there was actually some kind of system for it, but I don't know. <laughs> Stakey monster. Mm, USDA Prime. Om, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Not Sesame Street. Oh, what would what's an alternative seed? Sunflower Street. This just slightly wonked out version of Sesame Street. <laughs> what, what would the weird version of Big Bird be? Bigger bird. <laughs> it just can't fit the screen. You just see its feet. Oh, uh, serious question. How come his headband flutters in the breeze, but his hair doesn't? I, mm -hmm. uh, anime powers, clearly. 